Welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to tackle Mitsuzen HDI 10, uh, the heart one. Okay, so let's read. Read a value from the nervous, uh, the nerves connected to your central nervous system and make your heart beat by wiring a sequence of values to your sinotrial and atrentricular <laughs> nodes uh, as indicated in the uh, HDI 10 IO log. When holding the show goal button, cool. Okay, uh, the length of each sequence value should be equal to the value from the CNS divided by t uh, divided by negative ten. Uh, yep. So just keep repeating it. It's not necessarily to. Uh, it's it is not necessary to leave no trace. Your XBAs should be written to operate indefinitely. Okay, cool. Let's have a look at how this works. So we're going to be reading in. read in a CNS value uh, and then we're going to output 40 it looks like when we read it in uh, and then we're going to read or we're going to skip down a number of sections defined by this CNS value uh, divided by negative 10. Okay, let's, let's just get started. Um, so we're going to link 800 uh, and let's start by reading the nerve to get how many spots down we need to go. Uh, so, create a, a nerve, nerve read. We'll copy the nerve into our X register, and then we're going to divide X by negative 10 and store it back in X. So this is get, this will get how many um, how many entries are down before we need to read the CNS again, uh, because I think. Yeah, cool, okay, that's working, so we've got seven, so basically we're going to go one, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, read, and I guess this will be six, so it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, so we'll probably get a value there. Ah, right, my XR is dead. <laughs> um... What should we do now? Because now we need to now we need to output. Okay, so when we read that value, so every time we read a value, we're going to want to output 40 for sure. So let's create a new XR. Um, let's move it to the end to start with. Cool. So now this XR is. Is it there? this let's let's just make a file and log it all out so let's log yeah it's kind of gross but because we need to output data there and there we could have three X's but doing uh, communication between two X's and having them relying on talking on the same bus is gonna be a problem so this is kind of a cheaty way of doing it but I think it'll work so <laughs> Let's make a new file, and we'll mark this as save. So what it's going to be doing, it's going to be saving any data it's sent to start with. Um, yep. So then we'll add x1, x, uh, and then we'll copy in some data, and then we'll test that x is less than 30, because there's 30 columns here. But it does say should be open to operate indefinitely. But I wonder if it actually tests that. I think this is kind of cheating. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Uh, test negative 30. Um, if it's less than 30, then we'll jump back up to save um, and continue to read data into the file. Cool. Um, so same up here. We need to. Uh, so whenever we read a value, we want to copy 40. And once we read 40, we want to then call this a, a nested read, because this is now reading the subsequent entries and then feeding negative 70s in. So subtract x, subtract 1 from x, just 
just going to copy 70 onto, this, onto the um, bus. And we'll test to see if x is greater than 1. Uh, basically just checking to see if the, uh, the value that we got from this divider here is correct. Uh, if we're still greater or if we need to read from the uh, CNS again. Cool, so if that's true, then we'll jump to uh, nested read and just reread this again. Uh, else, we're just going to jump back up to nerve read. Cool, I think this is enough to get the file loaded, so let's have a look. Yep, so you, we can see 400 here is actually being loaded with the values that are ultimately supposed to be fed out, but for right now we're just feeding them into the file, so. You should see the file full in a sec. Okay, cool. So the file's full. So now let's read these file these uh, these entries out the out to start with. Yeah, cool. Okay. So to start with we're gonna reset X just to make sure that because uh, we were using X up here, it's gonna be a weird value, 30. So we're going to reset it, and then we are going to seek to the start of the file again, because we're at the end of the file, because we're appending to it. And then we'll just create a new function called load. And we'll begin to copy the entries from the file onto the nerve. Same dealio, we're just going to do it 30 times. <coughs> and recall load if we're not at the end. Cool, so now we should uh, should be feeding that data out the uh, out nerve. I'll just confirm that's correct. Should see it. Yep, ah, oh, cool, those values are correct too. So now we just basically need to do the same thing out the uh, AVN. Uh, but it looks like it's one behind each time, so we'll just need to feed 70 out at the start and then start feeding them. So. Cool. Uh, we could have a third uh, XO for this, but nah. We'll just um, link negative one, link negative one, and link three, link three. And, uh, we need to run it how many times? We need to run it 29 times now, because we're feeding a 70 and start with, so... Yeah, okay, actually. So we'll reset x to 1, and then we'll seek back to the start of the file, and then we're going to copy negative 70 in. That's the first entry. Yep. <coughs> and... Ah, oh, cool. We've already got a load function, so we can just recall that. I think that is good. I mean, not ideal, but I wonder if this will work for all of them. I think it... Oh, cool. I think it is. <laughs> Must run indefinitely. Uh, I don't know if we do that. Oh, that's a lot of cycles. We might come back and optimize this later. But for now, um, yeah, had a lot of fun. I'll see you in the next one.